Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for July 5th, 2018. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, a total of 32 players with Mustika Tony 1 coming out on top with an 800, getting ship scan and all the way onto the ship. Widest 1 1 may have done just about, or taken some damage, or who knows. Dano 416 at Marvin, Seskel, Decavoid, and Kobo Commando scored a 680, getting six scrap on the ship, which is uh, probably a pretty full exploration. And then Rotten No Life, Rotty No Life, eh, 640. I scored 600 along with Dargard for 10th, and then we have probably, well, LB was in 16th with a 420, getting uh, pretty much as far as I did and accidentally letting out a Leaper, and I'm sure. LB was not the only one with like that. If we go to the global, you can see uh, a couple of people at 420, Corintoth as well, and a little bit of a range on the scores there, all told. Could be slime, could be heavy damage from the Leaper, things like that. Today we have Ship Surveyor and Sensor, along with pretty good drone health. And must have less than four infestations, so maybe three or less. Unknown! Well, that's great. But we do have a door open, that's, so that's better than yesterday, even with the small ship. But it doesn't look like we have anything in this room. It's also the only airlock that we have, so if there's not something... Alright, well no generator there. We're actually approaching a good time. It looks like I uh, opened that door at 21 seconds, so... Good time right there to... Send in my uh, sacrificial Zack. Hello. No slime or anything. There is a swarm. That's going on a lot longer than I'd like. Alright, the good news is I got everything that I need from R2. So unless... <sighs> unless uh, R6 has a terminal, which I would like to use if it does... No oh, crap. I'm gonna have to take a risk here. Alright. Risk taken. So, what infestation type today? Definitely going to put these traps to good use. Oh, 
Oh crap. I just about wasted one of them though. So let's not do it that way. Actually, let's do it this way. Unless there's two vents on the ship this small, everything should be fine. But now this means we need to wait. There's a terminal and I am not putting my drone in R2 until I know it is safe. Ah, which means this might be one of those episodes where... I, uh, sit around a lot. Okay, I can check this once I kill it. Wrong button. That is a large swarm. There are small swarms. I also know that it's safe for two and a half minutes now. That was a large swarm, though, so we should be fine. So I have approximately two minutes. Which is plenty of time. Come on, survey! Hey, ship skin. Hey! Only one room scan. That's fantastic. I'm gonna leave the ship as I arrived with D8 open, but with a couple sensors everywhere, except for R6, because I don't need that now. That is fantastic. It only scanned the one room. All right, well, that was relatively quick, all things considered. 10 scrap, 4 of that was hidden, 1 propulsion, 1 jump fuel, starting score of 560, and 1 drone upgrade. No drone. And that was it. I don't even remember what kind of ship it was. Was it government? Maybe. And so far I'm tied with LB getting ship scan. LB took a lot longer to do it. I... I'm not entirely sure why. That's a little bit surprising, because he's usually the one that's much more bold with those movements, but he may have had a swarm break down a door before he could manage to deal with it or something like that. Um, so he had to be a little bit more careful about where he was going, how he was getting there, things like that. And so far, we're the only ones with... Huh. Old Jerry didn't even get into that last room. That's not a name I recognize. There's the yawn. It's super late. Uh, made new things in Oxygen not included. And spending way too much time playing that game some days. Feels like the weekend. It's not, though. Gotta go back to work tomorrow. Shame, shame. Alright, so if you haven't done your run yet, good luck. If you have, leave a comment with your experiences and strategies for a ship like this. Overall, sensor and swarm, not a bad combination, but not particularly a uh, complimentary combination. That said, sensors are always relatively useful, especially when you do need to move things around. It gives you a constant view on where things are and um, when they move. So that was quite handy. If you'd like to check out other videos, you can see Marvin, Copper, Dano416, LB, Mystica21, Dargard, Decavoid, Murkowler, and Korintoth, all listed in the video description. If you enjoyed, do please like, and have a good day.